Hey everyone. Um, so I had some time to kill basically, and I just thought I'd start talking at the camera and uh, see where it goes. Um, I guess there are a few things that have been kind of floating around in my mind recently. Um, and it comes after after reading Baudrillard, who's I think a really brilliant um, contemporary aesthetic theorist. Um, uh, just what mediums like this, mediums of communication like YouTube, really mean and what they're really doing. Because um, I think, well, especially for Baudrillard, um, he talks a little bit about the simulacra, which is um, a complete copy of something that was original, so it's indistinguishable from the original. Um, Curtain if I'm wrong, but so so something like um, talking face to face and then watching someone talk on YouTube um, eventually start to mean the same thing. Um, whereas there used to be one level of uh, reality that was more real, and then there's this, which is a little less real, um, supposedly. But but these different mediums are starting to flatten into one plane of reality that all means really um, about the same thing because um, the things that we do here on YouTube impact the real world just as much as anything else. It's not disconnected at all from the real world. Um, in fact, people who make videos on here oftentimes become famous for whatever they do, whether it's making music or just entertaining people. So um, it's just a very interesting form of expression. Um, and so I just wanted to see basically uh, what you guys thought about that. And um, I mean, to what extent when you when you watch someone's video, to what extent do you feel like you're sitting next to them and listening to them talk? Um, I don't know, for me, like, if I do it for long enough, I start to feel like I don't think about whether it's real or not, but, um, I think it's, it's kind of an important distinction to, to try to make, um, especially since some people get a little caught up in this whole YouTube thing, um, I mean, it's kind of interesting because if you make videos after a while, you start to become, um, there's, there, there starts to be this, this form of yourself that exists on this plane, and, I mean, truth be told, the people who make videos are only putting forth certain information, and it's really, it's just framed within this little box. And the people watching the videos can only see what the people who are making the videos present. And people were a little people were a little less skeptical at first, back when Lonely Girl was popular and they believed her. They 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 watched it and they thought what they saw was real. But then they figured out they can't trust what they see so much. And um, I think that is at least one of the important distinctions to make between YouTube and reality. I mean, of course, I hesitate to use a word like that, and of course, there are still plenty of ways to be fooled um, in reality interacting with people in the physical world. Um, there's still plenty of information that people can withhold, and when it comes down to it, all forms of communication are really done through some kind of medium. I think by definition of them being communication, um, even using words can be limiting in some ways, although I think I think overall they're they're more expansive than limiting. But I think I've gone over this at some point. Um, but my point is, to what extent do you think that this is real, and do you think that do you think that we're headed toward um, a total? I guess annihilation between the difference, annihilation of the difference between s 
so-called reality and um, you know technological forms of expression and um, I think in some ways yes if I could just touch on this really fast um, even take movies for example um, I feel like movies used to be more um, you know what no it, the, the, the whole medium of, of film is, is very much like this but um, I feel like with some kinds of art the object is separate and you from you the object is the other and you are there to observe the other and interpret it through um, you know your own perceptions but you recognize that it's separate from you but with something like cinema with something like movies it's a total you totally get immersed in it and especially now the cuts are so fast that you don't even have time to think about anything really you just it carries you from one scene to another and um, and it's becoming closer I mean it's really not like reality at all but um, but even even the pattern of cuts is uh, it's following the one over F pattern which is like called pink noise which is sort of um, imitating this natural sort of rhythm I think it could have been the natural rhythm of the the, of hum the human brain human brain waves wrong about that but look it up it's very interesting anyway what I'm going with that with that is that is that all forms of expression are going toward this mimicking of reality simulacra um, and it's I'm not saying it's a bad thing but I'm saying that YouTube is a step certainly a step in that direction so um, tell me what you think about YouTube and your experience with YouTube and um, and all that good stuff alright I'll talk to you later